It's Madden NFL 23 on EA Sports, where we've got ourselves a Super Bowl 20 rematch. It's the Chicago Bears and the New England Patriots coming up next. Just a beautiful fall night for football here in the Northeast as we are inside Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Chicago Bears and the New England Patriots. And hi again, everybody. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And Charles, when you and I were going through our final run-throughs at breakfast, we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses. And we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that can have an impact on this game. It's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays. If you take him away, maybe number two, number three, they make the big plays that impact who wins the game. The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. Taking it about the one. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Now we get a first look at this Patriots offense, and of course leading them for his second season. Last year's Rookie of the Year runner-up out of Alabama, Mac Jones. I think we'll all remember 2021 as a banner quarterback draft. And we saw five taken in the first round. It was actually the fifth of those five. Mac Jones, who was a runner-up in the Rookie of the Year voting with the fifth most yards by a rookie in league history. The Patriots, they have to be dancing in the streets with the idea that this guy is going to be their quarterback for about the next 10 years. They'll run with a former member of the Crimson Tide, Damian Harris. And really a nice job there to make something out of that run. Sidestepping defenders for a pickup of four. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you're scrambling a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out do I need to blitz it? Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Kyle Gordon puts it off, and they are going to set up shot at the 40-yard line. Well, certainly not how he wanted to start his night. First throw of the game, an INT. Yeah, it's not easy, but he's got to try and wipe that one away from the memory banks. And let's face it, it's not often a quarterback and a defensive back have a lot in common. But one thing, because they have these individual-type plays, They've got to have short memories, don't they? DB gets beat, wipe it away, quarterback throws a pick, has to do the same thing. The Chicago's offense running out and something they hope to see for years and years to come. Second year pro, Justin Fields leading the way. Justin Fields endured some literal growing pains his rookie season, taking hits and being forced to run for it behind a porous offensive line. But he also had moments where he showed his upside as a franchise quarterback. He did win two of his first three starts and had a 100-yard rushing game against San Francisco in Week 8. Several off-season changes in Chicago should help get Field some help in Year 2. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. Sam Roberts there to bring him down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. 
three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Here's Fields. Got an open man. It's Pringle. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. So the completion good for just three. And now we've got a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the gun on third down, Fields. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Jalen Mills. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. Before we came up to the booth, last thing he said as we were walking off the field, want to play mistake-free football. Well, that just went out the window there with a the pick. And do you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, fatal last words. Every time we hear that, things tend to fall apart a little bit, and that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He gets it complete to Harris. And he is going to lose yardage here. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple at its second down. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Thirty yard line, second and twelve. Throwing Jones toward the sideline, and look at that catch, dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A new set of downs after a strong pickup of sixteen yards. And that's how you shake off the interception you threw on the opening drive. Come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one. The man throwing the ball and the person calling the play. They're not shutting him down early in this game. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Harris running straight ahead. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. On second and a yard. Jones to the end zone, but it's incomplete. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. Now Jones. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. And now that brings up fourth down there. A loss of six yards on the sack. But it's about how teams are so competitively matched, and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal, that's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. So on fourth down, Jones jogs off, and on comes a longtime vet, Nick Folk, for the Pats field goal try. And Folk's kick is good, and the Patriots jump out to a 3 0 lead. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach 
turned his defense. The firemen go out there, guys, and don't let him put some points on the board. After the main field goal back out is Nick Folk to kick this one off. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. Their second drive here, the ball game, Charles. Remember last time they threw the interception, but the defense held up. It bent a little but didn't break, only giving up the three points. Yeah, obviously they left some points on the table there their last time out, but boy, they have to thank their defense for holding the opposition just three after they threw the pick. Their turn now, back out on the field, put together a good drive, and get some points of their own. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Fields leaving it with Montgomery here on the option. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 14 yards into Chicago first down. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they blocked well too. Not only have they scouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. Fields on first down. This one swung out to Montgomery. Nothing on that one. It'll be second down. That's a nice job defensively to make sure everyone was accounted for because ordinarily you pick up the guys downfield and sometimes you forget about the running back. In this case, they did not and dropped him for no gain. Second and ten. They'll go option to the short side. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A big time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. Well, that was something to behold there. You might expect runs like that from a kick returner or wide receiver, but that's your quarterback hitting top speed. And to anyone who gets concerned when they see a quarterback running with the football, you just let him be himself. Let him be him. And I guess what you'd say there is, hard to hit what you can't catch. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Fields. Touchdown! Justin Fields fighting Darnell Mooney. And the Bears have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. So obviously they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Santos on to try the extra point. He's got it. They'll see that opening drive field goal and raise it a touchdown, and that makes it 7-3. to three. That time, 75-yard drive, five plays. And finishing it all off was Darnell Mooney with a touchdown reception.
The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. They'll start on the ground with Harris. A nice little juke. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. On second and nine. Jones finding Bourne here over the middle. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. I think we'd have to say that last season it was an excellent move for Kendrick Bourne to sign with the New England Patriots. Set career highs in catches and yards and even ran the jet sweep to great effectiveness. They love to get it to him at any level on the field. They boards him there with a first down. to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Operating from the gun, Jones. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. The offense schemed going five wide, trying to create a chance for the big shot, and they took it. If he comes down with that one, that's a huge offensive swing, but credit the defense with a nice play, knocking that one away. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Operating from the gun, Jones. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Parker. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Only a yard on the pick up there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin them back. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. Well, the football changing hands here and as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense... Is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Back.
back to Montgomery on second down. And he can muster only a couple here to the 24. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they're able to just roam and hit. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And this is a quarterback who's already had success on the ground in his first half, but this time they're able to hem him in. And it's always different when you rush a mobile quarterback as opposed to a guy you know will be right back in the pocket. In this case, you've got to make sure the inside pressure and the outside pressure match, and maybe even a second wave to make sure if he squirts free, you've got someone to tackle him. The fourth down, so they send out Trenton Gill. And deep to return it is Marcus Jones. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And the Patriots take over. New England's offense set to go. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and ten. Jones and the Pats now with a first and ten at the 39-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Jones got the connection here to Bourne. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. Now a first down carry for Harris. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Now you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Eight yards, the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Harris. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. Well, that's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility has him getting upfield and working. But how about his vision to see where the play was going? Crashed down inside and tackled him for a loss. On third down, here's Harris. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But I also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Johnson. And not the first quarter that he was hoping for. Now two interceptions thrown. Well, the good ones, they find a way to compartmentalize, right? Put these behind them, have that short memory, but understand why they threw the two interceptions. They go on and usually play a pretty decent game. Other quarterbacks... They have a hard time getting past it and often put the ball up for grabs the rest of the ball game. Hey, 
Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 13. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. That time they pick up a 24 yards on the keeper. First down. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. And now some motion before the snap. And this will be our first penalty of the night's proceedings. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. The false start backs him up five, first and 15. Back to throw, Fields. Open man is Komet, the tight end. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and that'll bring up second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. After one, 7-3 the score on EA Sports. The Bears with the football. We get set to begin quarter number two. As they've got a second and eight forthcoming. One play action. Fields. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately had an alert teammate who was able to get it. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Now it's Fields. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. So he got nine yards that time, but he needed ten, and it brings up fourth and one. That looked great when he first took off because, in my mind, there was room to run, and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect them to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with this fourth down call. Now here's Trenton Gill on to punt. This is a way, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. New England trying to get a place on offense. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. A handoff to Harris to begin the drive. Able to slither by. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. They'll run again with Harris. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. 
exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Here's Jones, throwing on first down, setting up the screen, Harris. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Only three there on the screen and second down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. Back to throw. Jones. He'll get this to his tight end. It's Jonu Smith. And they'll get this down to around the 47 yard line. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Meanwhile, Jones throw complete there to Smith. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. On second down, this is Harris. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great, because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. Jones now to throw on third down. And he finds Parker here, complete. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll bring up fourth down. Now, that's going to be a tough one to explain when they get together to watch the game film, isn't it? I mean, they had the right call, had the out route. He's got to know where the first down sticks are, yet he steps out of bounds that close. Not their best play. And now Nick Full, his career long, 56 yards. This from 54 yards away. And that's off the right upright, and it bounces away no good. And that will keep this a four-point game. So distance not the issue there. He had plenty of leg to get it there. It's that darn upright getting in the way. Always gets in the way of a good time, doesn't it? Because he hit it square, too. Sometimes you can bank one in if you get it on the end of the football. No such luck there for him. The Chicago offense set to get started. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. So after the missed long field goal attempt, this offense set up nicely at the 44-yard line. On first down, Fields. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll be pulled down as a penalty flag will rain in as well. And that would appear to be a face mask. So it was already a gain on the completion, but tack on some more with that penalty. Absolutely. And no matter what angle you're making the tackle from, you can't grab the face mask. And that's just putting your defense on its heels just a little bit more. So a big penalty there on the face mask leads to first and 10. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And tough sledding. They'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage. Left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. 
They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. I don't care what the emphasis is in the NFL at any given time. Every defense is still going to say their number one goal every game is stop the run. And right now, they're not doing that. And that really chips away at your confidence. They had great starting position to begin the drive, but now they look up at a third and five. Out of the gun, Fields. And this one drops in the end zone. Oh, it looked like a touchdown, but not to be. And now it's fourth down. They're going for a receiver there. Already has one touchdown of this first half. A second one not to be. I like where their headspace is, though. I mean, I really like the thought process, right? You got a guy who's already scored one, right? You want to go back to him, continue the hot hand, and make them adjust to you defensively. I like what they were trying to get done, even though they weren't successful. So a nice kick there as they add three to the lead. And from what I've seen so far, Brandon, I think they've been the better of the two teams here in the first half. So even though you want the touchdown, I think that's a nice job there to put three points on the board. The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. And no return from Montgomery. Bring it out to the 25. Now the Patriots gearing up to go now. Just a lone field goal for them so far, trailing 10-3 as they come up first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. Open man is born. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Simple drag route here. Lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Looking to throw. Jones. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. New England on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and five. Over the middle complete. It's Parker. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down, and that's what he just did. On the give, this is Harris. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. They run again with Harris. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Jones on third down. It's brought in by Harris. 
And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, it certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Back to throw. Jones. And this complete to Henry over the middle. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. And that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Working with a second and three. They hand this off to Harris. Oh, he shifts past him. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. 52 yards rushing for it now as he's carried it 13 times. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. First down, and they go back to Harris. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. On the tackle, it was Dane Crookshank. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They'll try the right side with Harris. And he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. So they need two yards here on third down. Remember, they're already two of two on third down conversions on this drive. They'll keep it on the ground. Harris again. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. Third and two, right? So this is a situation where low man has got to win at the line of scrimmage. But it's not just the low man winning. It's the low man who's winning with some force. And they had that to pick up the first down. Barely picking it up, but they did. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Our score, 10 to 3 with two minutes remaining in quarter number two. Now Jones on first down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Touchdown, Patriots! Kendrick Bourne, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots are an extra point away from drawing level. Partner, remember that old film of Peyton Manning going through the route tree with his great receivers in Indianapolis? I think we're seeing the results of the same type of work here today. These guys know each other so well, they don't even have to call the play. They can just look each other and know the route that's going to be run, and usually the connection is perfect. Extra point up and good by Folk, and we are even at 10 apiece. That one in the books as a 12-play drive, and it was Kendrick Bourne who was able to cap things off with a touchdown. now at 
10 apiece as the kick's away. Taken in at the three. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Bears offense now heading back out onto the field. And after the field goal last time, let's see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that wanted that, that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Marching in for the sack, Matthew Judah. When you see a quarterback retreating away from the line of scrimmage toward the other goal line like that, usually doesn't end well. You're exactly right about that. Normally, if they're moving from side to side, they've got a chance maybe to get back upfield. He was trying to shake defenders and extend the play, but it doesn't work out very well for them at all. You need those extra yards on the other side of the line of scrimmage. Now you're digging a hole for your offense. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Fields. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. Now a give running right is Montgomery. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Now here's Trenton Gill now. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Patriots with the football here late in this first half. And with a little under a minute to play, they may be looking to pick up some yardage here, maybe try and come up with a field goal to seize the lead before intermission. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. Open receiver here. Complete. It's Packer. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. From the left hash, it's an even 50-yard attempt. The folks' kick is good, and they will take the lead at 13 to 10. So they are able to end that drive with three points in this one-possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take punts you really don't want to do that in this case they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game
So six seconds, all that remains of this first half as the kick is away. This one taken just inside the 10. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. We'll tick by in this first half. So we've reached halftime here at Gillette Stadium with the Patriots on top. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG. Thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. First order of business, though. Let's get a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for Chicago. And they were able to have a little bit of success on the ground. The question will be, will they stick with it? Or will they be throwing more to try and regain this lead? Meanwhile, for the Patriots, you get a look at what they were able to do throwing the football. And whatever they've done, it's worked, as they have the lead through two quarters of play. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Bears going to see the football first, and they trail here as we get back underway to start this second half. Taken at the goal line. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. So here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Third quarter starting with a run from Montgomery. And they get this to the 24, and it's second down. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Back to Montgomery on second down. And he'll be stopped up at the 26 after a gain of only a couple. Early down steps to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Now Fields. Looking left side, and it's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That one will go down as 33 yards on the third down conversion. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. To throw his fields. And this will be caught by Mooney. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Here's second and a yard. Here's Fields. And his throw is going to be incomplete. 
Another incompletion with that one. He's just 7 of 14 throwing the football 50%. Typically not going to get it done, is it? And let's just make it simple. And that's exactly why they trail. They tried the throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Throwing again is Fields. Completes to Mooney on the slant. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. And there with a the tackle, Dietrich Wise Jr. But really, that was no surprise there. They've been running it well all game. And I know goals change all the time, but any team will take that type of run each and every time. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Fields now to throw. Looking middle, and that's complete. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Here's Fields. And this is going to be incomplete. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? No fields is off, and on comes Cairo Santos for the Chicago field goal. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Santos' kick is up and through, and that's going to tie us at 13. So they come away from this opening drive of the third quarter with only three, but it does draw them even. Yeah, and that has to be job one, doesn't it? A touchdown definitely would have been nice. We know that. But here, you get back on even terms, and now you've got most of the second half to try and get yourself into a position to win. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And no return from Montgomery. Bring it out to the 25. Here comes the Patriots offensive unit. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. And their three-point halftime lead gone now. Back to a tie game. But, Charles, I don't imagine that changes too much for this offense. I would agree. I don't think it changes much at all, whether it's a three-point lead or a tie game. They know they have their work cut out for them, and they were going to run their offense in the same vein. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Harris starts the drive on the ground, and he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. 72 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Now, that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. A good gain on first has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Now here's another carry for Harris. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. 
Here's Jones from the gun on third down. He completes it to Henry. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Harris running straight ahead. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Harris. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Dancing to his left. This one to board and he's got it. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Call that a very strong gain of 24. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 as they're down to the 29-yard line. Now flags come in. Looked like one of the Patriots might have moved. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. Now Jones. That swung out wide to Harris. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. Throwing Jones. Rolling to his left. And that will be incomplete. Brings up fourth down. Solid coverage by the Bears' D. Well, the connection they've had has been excellent today, but not on that snap. I think he was asking just a little too much as he extended that play, hoping for one more completion with him. They're going for it. This is Harris. And he's not even going to come close to picking up the first. They stop him right at the line of scrimmage. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And the Bears will get the football back. And you wonder, Charles, could that decision come back to haunt them later? And it really could, because in this situation, you kick the field goal in a tight game like this, that's a good play. Yeah. But maybe what he's saying to himself is, I'm just not a big proponent of the old idea that any possession that ends in a kick, I'm happy with. He wanted to be really aggressive. A little twist here in the third quarter.
Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 22. Fields. He's going to go for a big play downfield. He's got a man complete. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. Well, C.D., when you combine accuracy with a big arm, you get throws like that. And Justin Fields may very well be making these kinds of plays at the pro level for years to come. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Looking to throw. Fields. Over the middle, and that's caught by Komet. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Back to throw. Fields. And his throw is incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the cover was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. They'll look to throw again. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. This drive, which was going so smoothly, all of a sudden it's a little bit of a roadblock here with two straight incompletions. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying no more. We're taking a stand right here, right now. But it is third and ten. They've got to get after him one more time. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Again, Fields. And that's incomplete. I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow him to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let him get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. The Fields is off, and on comes Cairo Santos for the Chicago field goal. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Santos' kick is up and through, and they have regained the lead. So that's three field goals for him now, but heck, he's not even halfway to his career best of seven. Seems like the seven field goal games are the kind of games I always get assigned to in my other job. Let's hope for this offense's sake they can start cashing in on a few of these drives. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And no return from Montgomery. Bring it out to the 25. And now out come the Patriots. They've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD, and then they tried to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so, and I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't even want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done within the parameters that they've set for themselves. Run their offense, get it into the end zone. Yeah, I think a little bit of determination and a dash of anger. They'll start the drive with Harris. Good footwork at the 30. Well, now Harris lost it. It's a fumble, and his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. But he has been a workhorse for them in this game, and ball security hasn't been an issue until that point. Yeah, and let's face it. When he's going to carry the ball that many times, he becomes more and more of a target for the defense, knowing that he's going to be the primary guy. They'll just send more and more players towards him trying to make sure they knock the ball free. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. 
the question was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose and is the video convincing enough to overturn it a lot of factors here remember you also need clear possession of the football afterwards this is a tough one to overturn So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Looking to throw. Jones. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. Only three there on the screen at second down. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. That means everyone on the offensive side of the ball. But someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. To throw again on second down. Jones finding Harris on back-to-back -back plays. The result, only four yards there on the play. And now that sets up third and two. That's a good job there by the corner. And we do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Jones now on third and two. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. It was starting to become a game for him to forget with the interceptions, but that's a step in the right direction. Not only did he choose to run it instead, but he saw the field well and made a nice pickup to get a new set of downs. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he's got it across midfield and into Bear territory. The tackle made by Nicholas Morrow. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Harris going to get it again on second down. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Foxborough. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. Complete Hunter. Oh no, he lost the football. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Can almost see inside his face mask there the look of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone came around with a lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. So from the 36 now, first and 10. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. 
from the 31. Jones throwing the out route. He's got Parker. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 12-yard line. 19 yards there on the catch and run. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Operating from the gun, Jones. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no game. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Throwing again, Jones. Henry's got it, out on the left side. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. They'll look to make it three for three on third down conversions. They need a yard here. Back to throw again. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Kendrick Bourne with his second touchdown of the night. And the Pats have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Now this has definitely been a back and forth affair, and now they have the lead here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, and they gave up the field goal on that last drive, as we remember, but it felt like their offense told them, don't worry about it, we've got your backs. We'll come back with a touchdown of our own, and they did. Now Folk for the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it was Kendrick Bourne who was able to cap things off with a touchdown. Polk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. The Bears offense out there set and ready to go. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll begin by dropping it off to Montgomery. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Back to throw. Fields got an open man. It's Kringle. Four yards the pick up. First down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Fields tapping it forward, jet sweep. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. As 
a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on it before he could get much out of it. Here's second and ten. And we've got movement. I think this is against the Bears here. Let's find out. The crowd's not doing that old line any favors. Home field advantage is really kicking in, making it very difficult for them to hear the snap count. Following the penalty, Montgomery. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Call it a gate of 12, but of course not a first down due to the previous penalty. I was pretty surprised there when they lined up to run it on second and long, but it worked out for them. It certainly did, and that requires some confidence, some fortitude, and a little bit of hope, doesn't it? You hope you catch the defense just right and break off a big run to help yourself out on the next down. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Right up the coverage we just saw break out on third down. Dive defense, blanket in the field with extra defensive backs and speed. Unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. Here comes the Bears punter now, as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. yards on the return and they will take over first and ten so the Patriots coming out now their defense got the stop forced the punt and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead Jones and the Pats now with a first and ten at the 20 They turn to Harris to begin the drive. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Again, it's Harris on second down. And for one of the first times all night, he is going to go nowhere as they bury him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. Jones to throw on third down. And that is incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. Oh, the return is Jones. So a good punt, but a solid 12-yard return. And the Bears take over. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth-quarter lead. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 40. Now it's Fields. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. His running ability has been an extra dimension of their game plan thus far. For once, though, he doesn't create any magic against the front that's prepared for him to try and take off.
Throwing again on second down. Fields got St. Brown running the quick slant here. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that will bring up third and one. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. There are a lot of different formulas to winning football, but one constant over the years, winning on third down. That pickup there was big because they had struggled throughout this one. First down, Fields. A uh, quick throw, knocked away, and incomplete. Partner, for once in my life, I'll be succinct. In a one-possession game, every single stop like that could be a difference maker. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Back to throw, Fields. That's going to be caught downfield by Mooney. Touchdown, Chicago! Darnell Mooney, his second touchdown of the night. And the Bears are able to move back in front. I know we often laugh, and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. Five plays there on that drive. And finishing it all off was Darnell Mooney with a touchdown reception. Bears send the kicking team out there and they will send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. New England's offense set to go. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 23. Throwing to start the drive. Jones, rush coming, and he's taken down. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. Defensive end gets in there that time. They were in a 4-3. What's the responsibility of the ends versus the tackles there, Charles? Well, most of the time when you're talking about the ends, they're your pass rushers. They're, they're the guys that you turn loose to try and get to the guy who's going to throw the football. The tackles, usually more of the run-stuffing variety. But the way this game is advanced, you're wanting a little bit of everything out of all of your guys. But let's just go ahead and break it down and make it simple. The guy who's the right defensive end versus a right-handed quarterback, that's the blind side. He's going after the quarterback. He's going to put him on the ground. They get 16 out of that one, but they'll still need to convert on third. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. If you're the offensive coordinator, you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. Big time. 
So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Well, someone's been having a good game so far. And you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They run again with Harris. Gets past one man. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gain five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. On second down, this is Harris. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. Now Jones on third down. Pressure, and he's taken down. A bear sack. Mario Edwards flies in to blow that play up. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense. Six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep the, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing. The O-line coach will. Patriots send out their punter as he's on here to punt it away. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. Here's Jones on the return. 51 yards on the punt there. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Chicago offense set to get started. The offense running out, and they are charged up ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. Off play action, Fields. He'll get this underneath to Montgomery, and he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Now second and seven from the 23. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. They'll go to Montgomery to try to wind some clock. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. On third down, they go Montgomery. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively.
Here comes the Bears punter now as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Jones on the return. They'll score that a 36-yard punt. So now Jones and the Patriots down 23-20. Just over a minute, 40 to play. Now they need, at minimum, three points out of this as they come up first and 10. Here's Jones. Open receiver here, complete, it's Parker. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. Well, they have had no answer for this connection all night long. Yeah, you just have to think, in a two-minute situation, that's got to be a concentration lap. You know they're going to go back to him with the game that he's been having. Now Jones. This one to Bourne out on the left side. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. Working the sideline there. Good route, good catch. First down, and he gets out of bounds. You have to like the play calling because you have to run some guys down the middle of the field to draw some of the defenders away. They can't just let them guard the sideline exclusively. That's how it's going to work. Sidelines and incompletions to use the clock. And I believe the referee's been buzzed. Yeah, they want to take another look at this call, and it's certainly a big one here late in a tight game. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the folks in New York just going to wind up confirming what the official saw as this play will stand as is. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Jones. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. Touchdown. Jonu Smith. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots have yet again retaken the lead. And touchdown and congratulations and zero relaxation ahead of them, right? Way too much time on the clock for them to start celebrating. Part one is done, but now on the sideline, you can already see them scrambling down there. They're getting those defensive guys ready. Yes, you have to get those guys ready, and you also have to talk to your special teams guys. Make sure the kickoff is exactly what you want and cover it well. Fulk connects on the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. Polk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. Here's Fields. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion, 
Allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle. Kind of scam the crowd. See if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. All eyes on fields. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions now third and ten. And first things first, before you think about marching the ball down the field, you got to move the chains. You're exactly right. Got to get back into focus here. Get the first down. That's what's vital to them. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Now Fields into the hands of Pringle. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Fourth down, Fields has to have this one. Looking right sideline, that's complete. And he is going to have the Bears first down as they manage to convert, and that'll keep the drive alive. Fourth down conversion plays, you usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Back to throw, Fields. This one swung out to Montgomery. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. So just three yards on the completion there. And that will bring up second down. It didn't check off every box, but the most important one. Got the clock stopped, getting out of bounds. They may be a little short of the first down, but I thought that was the key. Back to throw. Buying time to his left. Oh, no, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. Well, that simply is a missed opportunity. They're in position. If they take the ball downfield and score, they got a chance to win the game. Instead, they cough it up. I don't think next week at practice is going to be a whole lot of fun for him. On the other side, no bigger time to force a turnover when you've got that small lead. Yeah, and when you look at it from the, the offense's perspective, taking care of the ball is so important. I know they're going to have all kind of ball security drills in practice all next week. The Patriots in the victory formation as they'll take the knee. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. Down to a knee goes Jones, and that should just about seal it. an excellent come from behind victory Charles especially there in the fourth quarter both offense and defense were clicking they're going to feel good about this one boy are they ever because the deficit they faced certainly wasn't small they obviously did not give up on that one and in the end how about that come from behind victory they'll cherish this one for a while